video, we'll demonstrate quickly extracting text from an image using just your web browser and Google Cloud. I'm in a new Google Cloud project now, and if I open up the Cloud Shell, we'll be given a terminal where we can run text extraction commands. There's no software to set up, CLIs to install, programming languages to learn, or SAAS software to subscribe to. We can do everything here in just a couple of commands. I just need to set a project and then run a gcloud command to invoke the plug and play text detection API. Pasting in the command here, we can see the format and arguments. We're using a Creative Commons licensed image, which you can see in this fourth tab here, and we'll be extracting the text from this image. Once I press enter to run the command, we'll be asked if we want to enable the API. That'll take an extra few seconds, but only needs to be done once. In the command output, we can see a lot of information. It's not just giving us the text itself. We're also getting things like bounding boxes for words and letters. This is a lot of detail though, and oftentimes we may not need that level of granularity. So let's use the JQ terminal utility to parse this result for simple output string value. The backslash N here signifies a new line of text. Note that the extraction puts national in a first line, then the trust in a second line, which isn't totally correct. If we go back to the image, we see that the two lines are really just one, but the text is positioned in this circular way. We could use the more advanced details in our response JSON file to better infer the details of shifted and rotated text like this. Just for additional clarity, let's replace these backslash n characters with space characters using a set command. All right, so, with minimal setup, zero configuration pages, only a browser, and using a single command, we have our text extracted from the image. If we go to the documentation real quick, we can see some of the flexibility we have when using this service. For example, we can use different language SDKs. And of course, we can use local files or cloud storage files instead of pointing to web hosted images. Let's quickly wrap up this video by talking about costs. So when we're using the Cloud Vision API, we're going to be paying per image. Further, the per image cost changes as you progress through three different buckets of usage. The first bucket is for the first 1,000 images per month. Those images will be completely free. The next cost bucket is $1.50 US per 1,000 images. Put another way, each image in this bucket is 15 hundredths of a penny. Production use cases often fall into this bucket since the usage range of 1,001 to 5 million images is pretty wide. If you're doing a really high volume of text extraction with more than 5 million images per month, that will be 60 cents per image. Note that these cost buckets build on each other. They don't replace each other. So for example, your first thousand images per month will always be free, even if you have additional consumption that falls into the higher usage tiers. In the description of this video, we'll provide a link to the documentation, a link to the test image that we used, and a link to the pricing page. We hope this video was a helpful introduction to Google Cloud's Text Detection API and that the Cloud Shell approach gives you a quick way to get started playing with this stuff. We'll monitor the comments section for any questions or concerns and want to thank you for watching.